Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 18 of our Timberborn playthrough. If you guys are new to the series, don't worry about it. We're going to go through a quick recap. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, in episode 17, we built the infrastructure required for our new farming district down here. They are getting, <laughs> they're quite busy. We've got uh, kind of our industrial resource storage over here. So we've got dynamite, gears, uh, metal blocks, treated planks, all that stuff. We've got quite a bit of food storage right here. So we've got kohlrabi, cassava, mushrooms, berries. We've got some water storage, which is not yet full because we are having kind of a little water issue, a little bit of a lag. Um, and then we've got some builders and some hauling posts down here. And they're getting working on dynamiting this uh, little plateau thing out of here, um, which will help us with some farming that we're gonna do in this episode because I really wanna get this district separated. Now, we have 23 unemployed beavers, which is perfect because we are going to break this district off and we are going to get working on it. Now, I took kind of a pause in the, uh, the big dynamiting project up here just because I wanted to let our dynamite kind of restock a little bit um, and also took a little bit, I mean, not really a pause because they're still using tons of logs down here, but we are gonna need to think about improving our log production at some point. Um, I think it'll be okay once all of this gets built. Uh, I think it's just that we have so much stuff queued up that requires logs, so many builders that uh, they're just not able to, not able to keep up, but that's okay though. So let's go ahead and speed this up and then let's start to break off this district. Okay, so if we pause real quick, what we're gonna do is we are going to separate this, and then we're going to put a district crossing in right here. So let's get this built. Let's go into triple speed. And then we are probably going to also put one right here. So let's break this off and put in a district crossing right here. And let's get this built. Okay. So hopefully they build those. Um, I know that they're gonna technically come down here and work on the dynamite, but that's not really what we want them to do. And then unfortunately, or I guess kind of fortunately, we're gonna get some metal blocks back. But let's get rid of a lot of this and then let's have them actually pick up these resources. Okay. And maybe that will allow them to come down here and build uh, build those, actually, once we get those metal blocks picked up. That would be good. That would be good. They should be able to pick all these up, because there's really... We're, we're generally running short on resources, kind of across the board. Um, you know, we're, we're kind of running low on food everywhere. We're running low on water. And we're generally low on everything. It looks like, except for planks. Planks are fine. And pine resin, but I'm not really worried about that. But okay, I would love it if they would pick these up, but it doesn't really seem like they're going to. Are they just beelining for the dynamite? Yes, they are. All right, so let's uh, let's drop the dynamite down. It is a priority, but just not uh, not right now. So let's drop that down there. I really want to get this district broken off, and that would be good. They've got a ton of food. Um, the thing that I'm really going to need them to bring over here is water. Um. But in order to uh, help this district a little bit, we're actually going to build them their own little water pumping area. I think it'll help everyone. So let's see, how do I wanna do this? If we come out here, so that'll be one, two, three, four, five, maybe. And then we can connect that back up there. So if we get a path in here, And let's kind of go through here and reprioritize. So these are the priorities, these district crossings, also picking up those resources. Um, I'll leave that on medium high, that'll be good. And then, yeah, this, <laughs> I didn't change anything. All right, let's get uh, a couple water pumps in here. So we'll get five in there and those will be good. That'll just kind of uh, supplement this district a little bit. Um, and I think that that will help out 
Do I want them kind of sitting out there like that? Ah, perfect. A drought. Exactly what we don't really need. It's, it's not really what we need right now, but okay, drought. Um, I might actually just butt them right up against this, uh, right up against this dam. So why don't we do, what did I have in there? Five? One, two, three. Is that enough? I think I have to go one further. Yep, one further. I think five will be good. It'll help this district out, just kind of produce their own, their own water to a certain degree, but okay. So now let's pause because we are about to break this district off into its own thing. And we can't store any planks, which is fine because what we're going to do is we are going to get another, did I actually fit that back in there? Can I build underneath? Yes, I can. So we'll get that in there. Um, and then we will get our third district crossing right here. And then we'll obviously go back and put that shrub back in. So let's get that built. Uh, I don't think that they can reach this anymore. Because I think technically, like, can I connect this up now? Let's see. District must be separated by district crossings. All right, so it's obviously connected. Ah, it's connected right here. Okay. Um, is there a way that I can kind of shimmy this around? to maintain that connection. Yes, there is. So let's get rid of that. And that, and that, and that. So let's see, if I were to put in a platform here, and I get rid of that. Now, if I put in the district crossing here, I could actually have some stairs just coming down right here. So we could actually go through and delete all of this and it won't really make a difference. So if we get that hooked up and that, and then we go ahead and put the shrub back in here. So let's get all of that built. But now we should be able to connect this district up. So let's do it. Still connected by a path. All right. <laughs> Where? Where are you connected? Oh, I see. This is connected. Yeah, so what we're going to do... There we go. That's what we like to see. We like to see all these warning signs. Perfect. <laughs> That's what we like. But okay, so now this is connected up. It's got a district crossing here, blah, 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 blah. And now if we connect it up, there we go. And let's see, for a name, Carissa Chambliss gave us the recommendation of River's Edge, which I really like because it's kind of what it is. All right, so River's Edge. Thank you, Carissa. Um, and there we go. So this is now a new district with zero beavers. Excellent. And we have 63 available. So if we go up here, uh, let's see. So Whirlberg currently has 33 that are unemployed. So why don't we send them 10? And then what does Wheelington have? Three. I'm going to send them 10. Whirlberg. So let's see how that will do. Should be pretty good. We've got housing problems, obviously. Um, we have any housing problems in these districts? Yeah, we actually do. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Well, we do have a ton of beavers now. So let's go through here. Let's make sure that these are prioritized. So I want maximum haulers on both sides here. And then similarly, maximum on this side. And I want these to be the highest priority jobs. All right, perfect. So now we've got a ton of haulers. Uh, we do have farmers, which are back at work. And then we do have some builders. Do we have any? Yeah, we got, we got some. No haulers in this district, though. 
which is kind of unfortunate. How do we have a stranded... How did he get here? <laughs> how did you get there? There we go. All right. Unfortunately, now we need to put this uh, set of stairs back up here. So we can continue to lay this dynamite. But okay, so the farming district is now self-sustaining. Well, no. <laughs> no, it is not self-sustaining. It is uh, it is separated. It's its own district now. Which is good. Uh, but hopefully they start to get... Yep, they're starting to get some water provided to them. And I think the first thing that we're going to do... Um, the first thing that we're going to do is get this water up and running. So I'm just going to put all this on a medium-high priority... Um, I'll probably leave those on medium high so that as we get metal blocks, we can, uh, we can get working on those, but I would like all this stuff. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get the water pumps built first because I want the water coming in, even though we do have, we do have water over here. It's okay. Um, but we do have a drought coming in, so. I don't, I don't really know if 4.4 K water is enough to get us through an eight day drought. It might be, it might be, but I think getting these up and running will be good. Now, does this district have any logs? Yeah, not, <laughs> not that many. Um, I think getting these operational will be good. Man, if only we had more builders. Let's see. Oh, we have 18 vacant uh, population here. Where are they? Let's see. Wheelington has 18 unemployed. So let's send 20 down to River's Edge. And let's see what that does. Yep, because now we have some haulers as well, which is good. Okay, so the population seems to be working fairly well. 11 vacancies here. None up here, which is pretty good. Actually, we we even have unemployed beavers. Man, we have so many injured beavers up here. What I think I'm going to do... So let's get rid of these four breeding pods. I'm going to add in... Some more of the medical medical beds... And they should build those fairly quickly because they really don't have anything else to build. But okay, so we're getting working on these uh, water facilities, which is good. And now I think it's about time that we want to start working on a little bit of farming down here. So how are we going to lay this out? Well, I think what we're going to do... So let's see, if I were to put a farmhouse right here in this corner. Uh, and I guess they need some stairs. If I were to do something like this, how far can they reach? They can actually cover the whole thing, which is good. Um, although maybe I'll move it a little bit more central. So what if we come down here and we do like one, two, three farmhouses here with maybe two sets of stairs down something like that that would probably be good do I need three though probably not why don't we go with two because this is going to be uh, canola all up in here. So let's go with canola, just like that. And these farmers should be able to reach. At least I think they can. Why don't we... Oh, can they not? Oh, they actually can't. Well, that's okay. That's okay. That should be enough canola. 
if I'm being honest. We don't need a ton, um, but I think getting some canola up and running would be very good. All right, so let's pri prioritize all of these by haulers, make them the maximum working priority. And unfortunately, they were built just in time uh, for the drought to arrive. So unfortunately, we're not going to get a ton of water pumped. Let's go ahead and close that up. Probably should have done that a little bit sooner. But at least we can pump all this water. And then if we come back down here, let's see what we want to do here. Probably leave... How long is this drought? Seven days. Uh, maybe... Maybe leave three pumping right here. And then... Maybe two pumping over here. Should be pretty good. And I would... I really need to get these dams built so that we can uh, start to store some water in here. But unfortunately, unfortunately, we're just not quite there yet. All right, so let's start to think about how we're going to route this power. I think the easiest way to do it, or the way that I'm going to do it, is we are going to get rid of that. We're going to put a triple in here with a single here. And then we're gonna add those platforms back on. And I would love to get all that built. I think that that would be good. But okay, so we're starting to get some of this dynamite laid. We can actually uh, go ahead and remove this set of stairs so that they can run around the side. And we could probably start to dynamite away some of this single. So let's go ahead and get rid of all that. Um, and then we can actually go ahead and dynamite out all of that because this is actually connected. And then we'll just dynamite this away. And then this is where we're going to start to plant. What is the first thing that we are going to want? We are going to want soybean. So this area will be soybean production, and then we can make fermented soybean right up here, and that will be good. That will help our food quite a bit, because you can actually see where uh, we're, we're eating through our food again. You know, so the population is just a little bit too strong. So we really need to get some, uh, some food production up and running, which means we really need to get our dams up and running. Damn. Okay, um, all right, is there a way that I can kind of fake the dams a little bit? Yeah, there, I mean, there kind of is. Um, one thing that I could do is I could throw some stairs down and just have them build this section. Yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we delete this out? And then come back over here and delete this out. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to throw some single level dams in here. Like that. And then I'm going to throw some stairs in here. With a path coming down here. So that they can build that. Um, and then similarly, let's throw some stairs in here. Like that. And then we can go ahead and get a path down here so that they can build these. So this is going to be the highest priority. Probably should have done this before the drought, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. We're, uh, we'll get there. So then let's go ahead and continue to walk this back. Let's get rid of this. We can go ahead and lay some double. What do we what do we have up here? Double? Yeah. Double dynamite up here. Medium high priority. And then I think the goal is for when this drought ends, we want to be ready 
to start farming the soybean and the canola. That's that's really what we want. Uh, because we, <laughs> we desperately need to improve our food production. Um, luckily, the fermenters are still running because we have our redundant power. We're not supplying nearly enough, but that's okay. Uh, I could go through and pause all these, but you know, I just... I don't think it's really... <laughs> I don't think it's really necessary. We'll be okay. Or we won't. <laughs> the game will end. <laughs> uh, but okay. Alright. So let's see. Are we getting this stuff built? Yeah, we are. Excellent. And then hopefully we can come down here and get these dams. And uh, that will at least hold some water and allow us to farm some stuff. It won't be perfect, uh, but it'll be better than, it'll be better than nothing. Um, and let's see, we're also going to need some storage over here for, let's see, one, two, three. Oh, that fits perfectly, because what I want is a, a little crossing right here. And then we can get a couple storages here for the canola, canola seeds. And these will be set to supply, most likely. Um, because I'll probably have some storage over by the actual production for them to use. So this will be uh, all canola. That should be enough canola. Um, I don't. If my memory serves, you actually don't need a ton of canola. Let's see, I'm going to get that one. And then uh, we also need this one built to fully seal that off. What about down here? Is this going to be enough? Yeah, it actually will, because we're using the, the land on either side. Probably should have done that a while ago. And 2.7k water. Oof. That's really not good. Let's get another pump operational here. Yeah. It's not, uh, not ideal. Not ideal. Let's let a little bit of water out. Just to top this off a little bit. That would probably be good. Luckily, we do have a ton of water that we could pump. We're just not pumping at a rate sufficient. So 2.6 water, about four days left. Yeah. Not ideal. Let's go ahead and fill that back up. Um, and then... Is there really any reason to keep this water here? No, I'm just going to open that back up because it's outside of the range that these guys can pump. So might as well just throw it in here. And we really need to get this operational. But I think before we do, we need to solidify our food. Because that's going to be an issue. Um, you know, unless we... Unless we figure this out. All right. So our builders are working. How are we doing on food? We're doing okay. Uh, fermented mushrooms are pretty much non-existent at this point, which is unfortunate. Um, but again, I just think that we're, uh, I think there are populations a little high for the food because it's kind of steadily decreasing. Uh, I think part of that is because these are probably not working at full efficiency. Uh, they, st they still are. Are they? Percentage of time, no, no, that only involves them carrying. Yeah, so they're they're definitely not working at full efficiency, which is kind of to be expected. The power is just not there, and uh, we could either build more engines, which I actually don't think we can do because I think they require yep metal blocks. Of course they do, but we'll get this mine up and running eventually. Eventually, uh, metal blocks really aren't my uh, aren't my priority right now, as you can imagine. Um, I'm more concerned about the the food supply, but I do think that getting some uh, fermented soybeans up and running would be very good. It is going to take a while though, and then we're also going to need to uh, set up our our power area down here. So let's bring the power up. And let's see how this is going to be laid out. So if we come in here, 
and we get some platforms like this. So if I were to do something like this, what are we going to need? We're going to need oil press, which requires power. It is a 4x4. Four four. I feel like two of those is going to be enough, but let's just see. Does other stuff require oil? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Let's see, oil press, where'd it go? So if we go one, two, three oil presses, that would probably be enough. So let's see, I could do something like this and get three oil presses in there. And those will have power. Um, but what I actually just realized is that won't allow the power to go anywhere else. <laughs> um, yeah. That will not allow the power to go anywhere else. Just trying to see how this would work. I mean, I could bring the power in from over here. Um, I could get a couple fermenters, like right in here. But I kind of want this to look nice. Which, you know, that's, that's the most important thing. So what I could do, actually, is I could get rid of this. Um, I could put a turn in here and then a triple in here and a turn and then a uh, a vertical like that and then I could actually jump the power like this and then to get my third fermenter or my third oil press I could actually just put it in right here like that and then we could actually get some oil storage right here So these could be canola oil storage, just like that. And then maybe a path running over here for whatever reason, get that connected up. That could be good. And then I could put in some storage here for the canola seed. So that's nice and close. I could put in a large warehouse. Am I going to have enough need for a large warehouse of canola seed? You know, I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and get rid of that one cassava. Because we are pretty much maxed out on raw cassava. But the food is just... Yeah, it's not doing good. And the water is not doing good either. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Very precarious situation for the, uh, for the beavers these days. So let's get that in there. Um, should I get more water pumping down here? Maybe. Maybe like one more. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Let's get one more water pump in here. Let's just make sure that all of these are prioritized by haulers. Okay, and then they remove this cassava, which is great. So we can go ahead and get a large warehouse in here to store canola seed. And then why don't we just get a platform in there? We could put something in there, something that looks nice. Like a shrub, probably. <laughs> gotta have the shrubs, gotta, gotta have the shrubs. But okay, so this drought is about to come to an end. Um, did they get the dams built? Yes, they did. Okay, so we will be able to store at least some uh, non-zero quantity of water. 
So let's get some dynamite in here. That would be good. Um, and then I think... I think we want to get the canola seed up and running. So let's get all of... This built. That should be good. So that we can get the canola seed going. And then we can dynamite this out. And then we can clear the trees. And then we can get the soybean up and running. Which would be good. Okay. And we do want this water pump going. Man, 700... 750 water thereabouts. That's not good. It's not good. I'm sure some of you guys are watching me play this game and you're just like screaming at your computer. Because uh, I'm, I'm probably doing so many things super inefficient. But generally speaking, you know, I just like things to look good. And uh, sometimes that means that things that I do are inefficient. And uh, that's okay with me. I don't mind that. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So, it's just the way that I tend to play the game. And look at that. Whirlberg is completely out of water. <laughs> just in time for the drought to end. Let's make sure that all of our water pumps are back operational. Including these ones. And we have z literally no water. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Okay. But let's pump some water. And I really need those to open up. And I really need this water to start flowing. Yikes. Uh, talk about precarious. Talk about precarious. How did this district do for water? Yep, they're completely empty. Completely. Okay. So, uh, I think we've identified that we have a water issue. Um, which is something that we're going to need to fix. We also have a food issue, which is something that we're going to do our best to fix. Uh, these are... Hopefully, they'll start to get the power that they need. Yep, there they go. So hopefully we can start to get some stuff fermented. And then let's get this dynamited away. So this is all going to be double up top. And then single here on the side. So let's get some single dynamite all along here. And we'll need to get that going. Um, and then, let's see, we just have so much stuff that needs to be built. So let's see, I want that going. And then I also want this whole area going. So we need all of this to be built. I'm just going to leave those at four for now. It seems like this district is is doing fine on food. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's doing fine. It's doing fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. But okay, we should start to see our water replenish itself. And, and you know, maybe we do need to get this uh, massive water storage up and running sooner than sooner than I thought. But honestly, I'm more concerned about the food right now. I am more concerned about the food. And this should overflow. Oh, we still have to go like a whole tile. Let's let out a little bit of water. Just to make sure everything stays irrigated. Because we did lose a little bit. So let's just make sure we overflow just a just a bit, just to uh, make sure that our food is still growing. Cause uh, it's not uh, it's not a guarantee that it will. And then hopefully this gets filled up kind of overnight as we go. But all right, let's start to fill this back up, fill this back up with water, and then it should overtop any time now. And then if we come down here, and we kind of see how we're doing. 
yeah, we're, you know, we're really not doing. <laughs> and I, I, I honestly wonder, do they have the resources that they need? Yeah, they do. They've got everything they need to build. Um, it's just a question of building it. And unfortunately, I've given them a lot of stuff to build. Um, this whole oil production area, mainly. All right, so the priorities right now. I want to get the canola seed farming up and running and the oil production up and running. Then we will come down, come down we will dynamite away this area and we will start to plant um, we will start to plant the what am I trying to say? We will start to plant the soybean. There we go. Um, in order to do so, we're going to need to get rid of all of these trees that are in here. So let's mark all of those for destruction. Um, these will also be marked for destruction. Uh, it's not, not a super priority, but we can go ahead and mark those. And we can just kind of start to work on that a little bit. All right, so these are going to be on the highest priority. These are going to prioritize canola. Um, one will be set to harvesting, and the other will be set to planting. So, sorry, planting, no. <laughs> planting, harvesting, there we go. So we can hopefully get some uh, canola going. And we do have some haulers in here, which should be good. And let's see, I want all of that built first and then they can build the, the rest of the storage. Let's see, is the water coming down? Yes, it is. Why is it not overflowing? There we go. I honestly wonder if I should shrink this down to force more water over here. We'll just have to see. We'll have to see how it, uh, how it functions. But okay, so our water is actually climbing pretty uh, pretty aggressively, which I think is good. And this should now flood just like just a little bit, you know, just one tile of flooding, not even one tile, half a tile of flooding, which will be good. It'll just keep this area a little bit more stable, um, which is really what we want. You know, I just want I want some water to, to kind of sit in here. Um, so that once we... Uh, Let's see, 12 vacancies here. I just kind of noticed we have a lot of vacancies. 22 up here and only one. Okay, so why don't we get a couple of these pods up and running just so we can help out Whirlberg. Um, they should still have plenty of haulers. So let's see, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, they got 47 haulers in Whirlberg. So I think we're doing, <laughs> I think we're doing okay for haulers. Um, but still, you know, the more the merrier when it comes to haulers, I think. And just look at that, that wood. Yeah, we are, <laughs> talk about struggling, uh, when it comes to the wood. It's, it's not going, it's not going very well. Um, and we're just going to be wasteful and we're, <laughs> we're going to make sure that we build this, uh, this roof. <laughs> Priorities. Priorities. Okay, so the roof has been built excellent, and let's build let's build this section next. And then if we come in here, so the power is gonna jump over, right? So if we get a triple platform here, and then the power coming down, how are we going to do this? So I think I think the best way to do it is we're going to have two fermenters here. And then let's see, we're going to have a path coming through here. Might as well get that connected up. And we're going to have a pair of fermenters, one here and one here. And we will have a quad here, and then we can put more fermenters or more power stuff on this side as well. 
Um, these, let's see, what did we set these workplaces to? Highest priority? Yeah, that makes sense. Because they're food production. And these will be for fermented soybeans. Okay. And we'll just have a path coming in there. So let's get all of this built. And I'm actually, I'm gonna put all of this on a medium high priority, but I do want the, the oil production to get going first. And let's see, how long does it take the canola to grow? Nine days, nine days for the canola. Okay, well that's, a, that's okay, it's not, not bad. Um, can I transfer some population? Yeah, I think I'm gonna transfer 10 from Wheelington down to River's Edge just to help them out a little bit more. How's the water doing? It's doing okay. Uh, it's actually not doing very good at all, if I'm being honest. Um, should I add in another section of water pumping? Probably. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, so why don't we do that? Let's do one, two, three, four, five. So we will add five more water pumps right up here. We're going to have to remove them uh, when the time comes to get the uh, to get the massive water storage up and running. But right now, I'm just. This is me playing a little, little scared, <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. It is what it is. We got 52 housing vacancies in here, which is uh, pretty interesting. Okay, so this is all getting built. Uh, let me just make sure. Good, good. No metal blocks required for any of these. Hydroponic gardens do require them, but we're not going to be building any of those down here. Food factory, we will be building down here. Um, not yet. And then coffee brewery. Yeah, so we are going to need to get the metal up and running once again. But uh, but that's a later problem. I'm going to send a couple beavers down here to clear out some of these trees. So let's just get some of these cleared out. Um, and I actually don't want this prioritized. So let's drop that back down. And then I would like these trees to get cleared out so that I can connect this up. And then hopefully we can get this mine up and running so that we can start to get some quantity of metal blocks. Um, that would be good. Again, food, still the priority. 23% on the canola. Hopefully this will be enough canola. I think it will. But you never know. All right. And these beavers are working. Let's see how they're doing. They got logs. Yeah, they got everything they need. So this should work great. Let's do a quick uh, food and water check. So uh, River's Edge is doing just fine on both. Um, Whirlberg doing just fine on both and then Wheelington is doing just fine on both the food is just uh, it's a little low kind of across the board uh, which is a little worrying but you know kind of is what it is and let's get these water pumps up and running so let's just make sure that they are prioritized by haulers kind of as we go So that we can get the water back uh, back to peak peak storage, which I think would be good. Like if we can get to the point where all of these water storages are totally topped off, I would feel much more comfortable. Um, unfortunately, we're just not quite there. We're probably going to end up putting in some storage up here. Um, particularly for the resources that we're going to be sending over to this district. So why don't we build a raw cassava storage right here? 
And then we'll make sure, are these already set to supply? Yes, they are. Okay. Perfect. And I love it when this canola all grows in because it's, it's really like bright, like vibrant yellow. And I just think it looks really good. Um, I know that that's kind of, it's kind of weird, but you know, I think it looks good. Um, let's see, do I want these on like a medium priority? No. Yeah. I'll, I'll probably just leave them where they're, where they're at right now. And then let's make sure that this power gets connected up just like that. And we will also put that on the high priority. So these now have power. They're just waiting for their, uh, for their raw materials. Um, and I think what we'll do is let's put in this path and then this storage next. So we'll finish up that little power section and then we'll get the storage in here for the canola seed. And that'll be good. And then we'll come over here and work on the dynamite and get the soybean planted up, uh, which should help. Yeah, because we definitely need more food. Definitely. Um, and with that in mind, why don't we get another couple fermenters up and running for the fermented soybean. So there we go. We'll put another two in there and we'll just make sure that these are highest priority fermented soybean. Just like that. And then we'll have to uh, come over here and work on the power. So we'll probably do another quad there and then we'll connect these up and we'll just make sure that all of that is on the medium high priority. But okay. How's the canola doing? 42%. Yeah. So we're about halfway there on the growing cycle for the canola. And then once all this gets built, we should be pretty good. Oh, and I just realized this, this fermenter is not going to have power. Or this uh, oil press is not going to have power. So why don't we get rid of those? And then we can put the power in. We can just kind of do something like this. Spin it around. It's kind of a waste of three cassava, but it's okay. It's okay. All right, this cassava is getting filled back up, which is great. So we'll just continue to have a huge stockpile of cassava. Um, honestly, I might want to add in another one. <laughs> just so that we have just ton. I mean, you know, tons of cassava. So let's get that built. Just because the last thing that I want is for Whirlberg to not have enough cassava to process. That would be very bad. But okay, so water is now coming up fairly aggressively. We're almost at 4K, which is good. So I think that adding in these, these five water pumps was smart. Uh, having the six down here was also good. And the food is doing, it's doing fine. It's doing fine. We definitely need to get the, uh, the soybeans up and running. And let's see, do these guys have the logs and the planks that they need to build these? They do. Um, probably kind of wasteful for me to <laughs> build that second one, but that's okay. That's okay. We're over 50% on the canola seed, which is great. The fermenters or the uh, oil presses are ready to go. They're just waiting on... Uh, on the canola. So why don't we, once we get this little area built here, why don't we do high priority there, high priority there, and we will just let them go ahead and build that. Um, and then why don't we come over here? We'll do medium high priority on all of this dynamite. Something like this. Uh, and then high priority on all of this, removing all of these 
sticks and trees and all that. Get a path through there because they're going to need it. And then why don't we let them go through a time lapse and we will let them build all this stuff. So I will see you guys in a few minutes. Actually, guys, I hate to renege on that time lapse, but I just realized that we are uh, we're at like 50 minutes in this video, which is uh, much longer than I typically typically do. I typically aim for that like 45 minute mark. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely consider leaving a like and a comment. Let me know some of the things you want me to try out um, in the just in the uh, comments below and then subscribe so you can stay up to date on this series uh, as well as some of the others. I really appreciate the subscriptions. It really helps out with the channel visibility uh, and I appreciate you all. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks, bye.